few days to go before we welcome baby number two in this world. So today I'll be sharing with you what's in my hospital bag. Do you hear from the mom life where I talk about anything and everything motherhood. I am currently 39 or 38, almost 39 weeks pregnant with baby number two. So this time I know exactly what I should be bringing in my hospital bag. So today I will be sharing with you mamas what you really need to bring in the hospital bag to avoid overpacking. So let's open my hospital bag. I did not get a fancy hospital bag because I don't really need it. So I just got this one from Amazon for, I believe, $25 is less than $30. So it's really cheap. First would be nursing gowns. This one I got from Amazon. So it's a nursing gown. So you can, well, it's really like a nightgown, but it has buttons so you can easily open it for breastfeeding. And I also got this one. It's also a nursing gown. Plus I have a nursing robe. So I did not bring any nursing gowns or any robe when I gave birth with my firstborn because I didn't know any better. Hospital do provide unlimited hospital gowns, but the thing with those is like, it's um, open on the back, so I felt naked. Every time they check me, I need to, you know, like remove it all the way. I wasn't really comfortable, so this time I will be bringing my own gown just you know just for comfort and i'll also be bringing a robe so i do not look like a mess <laughs> so next would be nursing slash pumping bras so these i got from amazon when i gave birth three years ago i did not bring any nursing bras so i just wore regular bras so and it was really uncomfortable because you know your breasts are sore because of the first production of milk and everything so this time i know better so make sure mamas you bring nursing bra because it will be easier for you to breastfeed so you just open it and then you close it back again before when i get birth with my firstborn i ended up not wearing any bra because my you know my regular bras aren't comfortable so i felt so naked so this time i know better i'm gonna bring nursing bras next on my list would be socks hospitals do provide socks for you but the thing is it's thin and doesn't really make my feet warm so i like to bring my own for comfort so again you don't really need to bring socks if you don't want to it's not a must have but it's just for comfort next would be high protein snacks or any snacks or a lot of snacks, a lot, a lot of snacks. <laughs> you will be really, really hungry after giving birth. So you need to bring a lot of snacks and you also need protein, especially will be breastfeeding. So I highly recommend bringing a lot of protein snacks like what I got here. Well, this one is not really healthy, but I have Cheetos. <laughs> Reed's peanut butter pro for protein. And I have protein bars, milk makers, lactation cookies. I highly recommend you bring a lot of snacks because vending machines are not always accessible or it's not, you know, sometimes it's not close by. So it's better for you to just bring your own just in case you get hungry, you, your, your snack is ready. You have snack all the time and you know you can just grab and eat whenever i will also be bringing a towel with me i don't have it here right now but um, if you are planning on giving on a showering after giving birth then i highly suggest you bring one because the towels that the hospital provides are small it's like large hand towels so yeah but if you're not planning on showering anyway then probably the towel that hospital provides is good enough and i totally understand if you don't want to shower in the hospital because when i gave birth with my firstborn i had c-section and i showering did not even cross my mind because you know i don't want to get my incision wet. so i totally understand no judgment if you don't want to shower i also have uh deep pants disposable underwear so if you have not seen a deep end disposable underwear it's just like it's a regular underwear with pads right there so you will be bleeding after you give birth and 
Hospitals do provide unlimited mesh underwear. So unlimited mesh underwear is just like this, but it's like mesh and it's huge. And it also has pads, you know, for bleeding and stuff, but it's not as comfortable as the deepest underwear because this one has a nice fit. And I know a lot of mom will agree that deep pants underwear is way better than the mesh underwear hospital provides. Next, I don't think I already packed it, but I will also be bringing a facial wash because when I gave birth last time, the hospital did not give me any facial wash, just soap and shampoo. So at least in the hospital I gave birth to. So this time I'll be bringing my own facial wash, you know, just to clean my face after a long day. And I will also be bringing a hair tie because hospitals do not provide hair tie. And if you like, or you're planning on tying your hair, especially you have a newborn, then I suggest you bring a couple of hair ties with you. So hairbrush, toothbrush, toothpaste, and other toiletries will be provided by the hospital. So you don't really need to bring yours, but if you prefer a certain brand or if you prefer to bring your own, then that's totally fine. I actually, let me get it real quick. And I will actually bring my own just because I love to use my own. If you found this video helpful so far, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So I'm just gonna show you what's inside my Ziploc. So I have my deodorant, hairbrush, toothbrush, a travel size toothpaste, I have flossers. So I also have a dry shampoo slash dry conditioner because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be showering in the hospital because again, I'm gonna have a C-section and showering, getting my incision wet will probably be my last resort. And I'm also gonna be bringing a facial spray just to moisturize, refresh my face. I'm also gonna be bringing a little bit of makeup. It's just facial moisturizer, mascara just for the face so you, I, don't, I don't look like a mess, concealer and eye pencil. I'm also gonna be bringing makeup remover, you know, just in case I put on makeup so I can remove it at night. So next, I have a going home outfit for my baby and a going home outfit for me. So you do not really need to bring any clothes for your baby because the hospital will provide everything. So I'm just going to be bringing going, a going home outfit just because and, you know, just to take some pictures. But if you're not planning on taking any pictures or you're just you know, good with the regular white one sees as the hospital will provide, then you don't really need to bring any outfits for your baby. And I do not have it in my bag yet, but I'm also gonna be bringing slippers or flip flops. Hospital floors are dirty and full of germs, so I will never dare walk bare feet, even with socks on. So slippers or flip flops is a must. And I have here a nursing pillow, the boppy pillow again this is not a must have you don't need to bring it but i noticed that the hospital pillows are really soft and it's not really good to to use it as a support like if you're breastfeeding or if you're bottle feeding the baby so i like to use the boppy pillow because it has better support for your arms and i can also put my newborn here and just put it in front of me so i'll be bringing my boppy pillow with me Perry bottle for cleaning down there. So it's just a squirt bottle that will allow you to clean your bottom, you know, down there gently after giving birth. So hospitals do provide a Perry bottle for you, but it's just a regular squeeze bottle. So this one by Doozy, I really like it because it's, it's available on Amazon and it's really, I just like the quality of this instead of using the regular squeeze bottle, like, ketchup bottle, whatever that the hospital will provide. So yeah, so I'll be bringing this one with me instead. Camera, of course, for taking pictures, don't forget, or you know, your cell phone. I'm also gonna be bringing my phone, charger, and an, an extension cord, just in case the power outlet is far from your bed, you can still use your cell phone while charging. So extension cord, must have for me at least water bottle so the hospital will provide you like the big plastic mugs for you to use you know for water and other drinks but i prefer to bring my own and i like this water bottle by 
healthish yeah by healthish so because it has time so right here so i can track my water intake because you know sometimes especially if you're gonna give birth and you're gonna have a newborn that you need to take care of it's just i'm gonna forget to drink water and i need to especially i'll be breastfeeding so i need to keep track of my water so i will be bringing this one with me wallet of course i'm not gonna forget your insurance card or whatever you need to bring don't forget i also suggest you bring an extra bag like just a small one you can probably use like the the one that can be folded really really small it's just for an extra bag for the free stuff that you will be getting from the hospital because you will get a lot i'm telling you well in my hospital at least i got i brought a lot of stuff from the hospital so diapers wipes petroleum jelly lotion baby hairbrush bulb syringe washcloths baby blanket mittens pacifiers all of those will be provided by the hospital so you do not bring you don't you do not need to bring any of those breastfeeding pumps formulas breast uh, pump accessories baby bottles will all be provided by the hospital too so again you do not need to bring any of those all products i mentioned will be linked in the description box down below that's it my hospital bag is ready and i am so ready what are your hospital bag must have share them with us in the comments below again if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos of motherhood